YouTube. We're going yard sailing. Me and Rennie and Melissa. She's taking the video so I don't wreck. But uh, we're heading out to the sale. We're going to Bull Mountain in Tigard, Oregon. It's a neighborhood sale, right, babe? Yep. All right. Come along if you're into it. Let's do this. You like that stool? Huh? That stool? display mm -hmm. uh, there's one right up the street this is a double You have any stoves or lanterns? Yeah, that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. How much for the mini bike? Hey babe, check out my ET display. It's a great display, babe. <laughs> You're not gonna be able to see out the window. You watch the car, Rennie. Oh, it's electric. Yeah, the, the chainsaw it is, yeah. Oh, the chainsaw is electric. This is... Not the blower. The blower is... Uh, is uh, King Tiger. How much for the G.I. Joe stuff? See anything, babe? I got a book. A book? Mm -hmm. These are cute little. I didn't mind last night. What are you looking at? Those little uh, yeah. lamps. Ooh, I think Donna would want this mug. A uh, prescription coffee. Huh. <laughs> it's like a pill bottle. Are they all different? Somewhat. I think there's like ten different ones or something like that. I kept a couple. Hmm. It's interesting. What is it? Oh, I like that. You want it? How much is the mop bucket? Yeah, I'll take it. And this little brass, how much is this little brass? Mm. I'm seeing a lot of uh, crafts. I'm seeing a lot of crafts. Is this a back out? This is a back, back out and run. This is a, this is a DB. DB? It what do you think, like, Rennie? It looks like uh, Goodwill's dumpster blew up. <laughs> <laughs> Stuff that didn't make it to Goodwill. Out your window, I think. 
I'm gonna pull it in right. Another neighborhood sale. In front. Oh, I like the color of this one. Looking good. Job box. Check this bar out. Looks like somebody started to think about painting them. But, uh, yeah, I don't know what that is. Mind. Hey, babe, is a ladder for sale? <laughs> I don't think so. All right, it's Sunday morning. Oh, again, just uh, too warm and too lazy to unpack last night. Um, uh, it's nice and cool today. It's gonna looks like it's gonna be overcast. I got everything unloaded. A little bit uh, about yesterday, lots and lots and lots of volume. Not a lot of really great stuff. I mean, we did pick up some really good anchor items. Uh, don't kid me wrong, but not a lot of smalls, uh, not a lot of tools. Uh, but uh, here, let me flip you around and I'll show you what we got. First thing I'll show you is the is the bar. So I ended up getting this for 150 bucks, and uh, it's a nice bar. Uh, I'm, I'm certain that I'll get somebody to come up here from Portland uh, to pick this up. I paid 150, and uh, I'll, I've got it listed for 750. So I think we'll do. I think we'll do all right. Next up is I picked up this tank. So this is a 50 gallon fresh water tank and uh, no smells, perfectly clean on the inside. It looks to me like it just has a lot of shop wear just from hanging around. I might keep this tank, but I went ahead and listed it for 150. I paid 40 for it. Uh, it's a real nice thick neoprene tank. Might keep this around. Next up, not super exciting, but I picked up this entire, I've already condensed the G.I. Joe score into one tub um, just by packing it better and getting rid of all the garbage. But this uh, tub right here I've got listed for 100 and then I've got the, the men, I, there, there was uh, almost 30. Uh, action figures. I took those out separately. Those are on eBay. The, you know, some of those can go for really good money. So I think I think there was 28 of them, and I started the auction at 40 bucks. So um, I'm looking to get maybe 150 to 200 out of that GI Joe stuff to be safe. 150. That's not bad. All right, next up is this beauty. Uh, I'm trolling with this one. This one I might hold out on for a while and get what I'm looking for, but I think I can get 200 for this. Uh, this is this fits perfectly in the the tobacco collectors and cigar room, you know, man cave stuff. So uh, I've got this. I think I've got this listed for 200 best offer. And I think I'll get it. I know I'll at least get a hundred for it. Uh, I paid twenty for it. They wanted forty, and uh, I'm happy to have it. Two extension cords. Both of these cords, five dollars for the pair. And I, I have this. I'll put this on today. T 
test them. I'll keep these. I can never. I always need extension cords. I got this marine igloo. I don't know what marine means other than cost more. Uh, put marine on anything and it doubles the price. But it's a real nice little, nice little uh, cooler. Perfect size. I'll probably I'll look it up and see what they go for new and probably just post that for half whatever they go for new at Walmart. This is a really nice box. It is what is it? Union utility chest. I love the military green. I might put stoves in this. I just like it. Uh, maybe I'll put my Svees in there or something like that, but I think I'm going to keep that one around. This is just a novelty pail I picked up for the booth. Uh, gosh, I think they, I think I paid five bucks for it or something. It was cheap. And um, I bet I get 20 for this down at the booth. People like to put flowers up here and flowers down there and use these or, or just, uh, you know, use it for what it's intended for. It looks like it was made in Portland, which is super cool. So next up, I got to show you this super, super cool uh, hand truck. I have never seen a hand truck like this. It's really, really high quality. Here, I don't think you can see it really well. I'm going to change the camera. Very, very high quality, commercial grade. And, uh, okay, I was looking to see if maybe there was any manufacturer on this because if you ever see this I've never seen one ever so basically it folds up it opens up of course the forks drop down this spreads out like so and then the handles the handles pop out here I'll flip you around there it is he wanted 15 for it. He took 10. I would have paid every penny of 15 for it. But I don't see a manufacturer on this thing. But I got to tell you, there's no way that this thing was not very, very expensive. This is definitely going to go keep and it's going to stay in my van. Next up, mid century modern plant stand, all metal, kind of a gold mid century color. Uh, this is a, this, I, I got this on Facebook marketplace for 80. I think I, think I had to pay up. I think I paid 10 for this and, uh, it's super cool. I'm pretty certain that this is going to go for any mid century collector. All right. Now let's rip you through the smalls. This is a little travel REI travel clock. Oh yeah. Here it flips open. Kind of cool for camping. There you go. It sits like that. Yeah, I kind of like that. I got one, two, three glass frogs. I put these down in my booth. This one will probably go for eight, ten, maybe maybe twelve. Uh, and I think these were a buck a piece. But these go real good down at my booth. I got some really neato ET buttons. Look at the size of these babies. I really love this one. I have this one, so I'll take this one down to the booth, but I don't have this one and this one, and I wear these buttons from time to time. You might have saw this pickup in the uh, in in the in the the live footage. This is a really neat owl cup. I love it by Royal. I have to look this up and see if this is vintage or not. But the with the crackling of the glaze, it looks like uh, it looks like this might be vintage pick this up at the same place as the mop bucket it's a brass little brass uh vase it's vintage and uh, i'll probably take that down to the booth maybe uh uh 10 bucks eight eight bucks grab this little uh fireproof can i got these real nice uh heavy heavy duty egg protectors Two of them. Take those on our camping trip to Turkey Foot. This is awesome. Look at the size of this. This is not plastic either. This is glass. This is a very, very good uh, 
replica of uh, the regular lava lamp. We had to order the uh, replacement bulb from Amazon and we'll see that. And I'm definitely gonna do a short on this when this is up and running because that thing is freaking cool. These, it's funny, I picked, I picked these two up at one sale and then at another sale I picked up another one. But I think maybe Chuck or Ron or somebody, I think some, I saw somebody with these and these are cool to put stoves in. They're, they're perfect, absolutely perfect to put stoves in. And you can paint them if you wanted to, put Coleman. Uh, I don't know what I'll do. I might just leave them and just put, put, the, put a sticker on them with whatever it is. Uh, some real nice industrial rubber gloves for working with caustics. This is a kind of a fun little thing. It's a china, but you can hang this on the wall and then hang your book or whatever, or you can just got a little kickstand like that. You know, I'm thinking I'm gonna hang it on the wall and then clip something to it. It's kind of neat. It's got a nice little thing, or it might end up down at the booth, who knows. I'm using the stand now for my phone. This is cool. There's not a single brand on here, but uh, it's a nice little uh, cheese or potato slicer. But here's the cool thing about it is I'm running my fingers on both sides of this, no cut. You can just loosen this up and then you can kick this, you can slide this up a little bit like that. And if that's as thick as you want it, then you just tighten it right here. Do your slicing and uh, and then put, stow it away tighten it back up really nice little slicer this is gonna go in the camp uh, the camp box for sure keeper all right next up is a nice little serving uh, tray it's a Pyrex made in the USA it's a one and a half quart and I think this is a Pyrex too and this is cool because it has the lid it was four bucks. And is it Pyrex or is it? Yeah, no, Py Pyrex. It's a nice one. It's a little dirty. I'll get this cleaned up. I'll take this down. I might get, I might get 15 for this one. Might get eight for this one, but uh, I'll take those down to the booth today. All right, last but not least, my favorite pickup. Check out this mug. I absolutely love this coffee mug, it is the best. Oh, it is absolutely my favorite. Um, hard to beat, guys. Hard to beat this mug. In fact, uh, what did I pay for it? 50 cents. And it is a... I better be careful. I'm going to drop it. Um, Fayzart. F-A-Y-E-Z-A-R-T. I got to look that up. But it's it looks handmade and it, it is cool and uh and join me with a cup uh join me up with a cup of coffee i'm gonna go uh whip up a, a pot and we'll break out our new mug hey everybody i hope everybody had a good day saturday it's sunday uh, be safe and uh, i'll see you around